Hey, Dr. Mori on Civilized Vitality. This is a um, video about pacing, P-A-C-E, uh, Primary Alternative Contingency and Emergency Plan. We're going to do a quick video on a self-rescue from an ice immersion on this frozen lake behind us. Maybe you're on the ice for some reason. Um, I shouldn't be. Trying to cross. I don't know what comes up. And you go through the ice. How to get out. Um, self-rescue. That's going to be my primary plan. I go in a little bit, I can get myself out. Alternatively... We're going to have uh, Logan and some of the guys throw me a rescue rope. I will be wearing a harness uh, for an emergency. And then we'll try some other things as a contingency, like maybe a pole rescue, or uh, we'll just see how it goes. We're prepared. We've got a fire going, so we can warm up afterwards. i got a rewarming blanket. And I'm just wearing some, some old clothes, a uh, Carhartt jacket, and a pair of uh, ripped-up pants. And then I've got some dry clothes ready to go afterwards. Um... Maybe later in the winter when it's colder out, we'll do a more extended video where we get out and try to start a fire with frozen fingers. So, uh, all right, let's go do it. Uh, you know, I wanted to save them for the... Okay, well then. <laughs> you kids need to plug your ears. There's going to be some language. <laughs> like right now it's starting. <laughs> Holy bleepity bleep. Yeah, that was pretty cold. All right, so here I'm crawling out onto the ice, and my first instinct was to jump through. The ice turned out to be a little thicker than we had anticipated, so uh, despite all my considerable uh, bulk, I couldn't get through the ice. So we tried to throw a stick at it. Obviously, uh, that wasn't working. Nope, couldn't even Donkey Kong my way through. So I did it the old-fashioned way when you're trying to fall through the ice. Uh, we got a hatchet, and I chiseled out an opening so that I could uh, get through the ice. Now I stand and bounce on the second layer of ice. Still no love, so I have to keep chiseling. Uh, believe it or not, this uh, the cold water splashing up in my face from the hatchet was worse than the uh, eventual uh, dunking in the lake. Because right now I was still relatively warm and dry uh, with that old jacket on. I never submerged completely uh, when I get through the ice, so it wasn't so bad. Oh, here we go. So I dip my little tootsies in. That's less than refreshing. And oh, it was deeper than I thought. So it turns out that uh, Does you can't. Count if you don't go fully submerged? <laughs> nice try, Logan. So you can't touch the bottom there. Here I'm kicking my feet yep. and using my elbows to sort of slither out onto the ice uh, like a like seal. A like sea slug. <laughs> or a sea slug. And then I roll away from the, the hole until I can get to more solid ice and then I'd be able to crawl to shore. All right, so now I'm gonna slip back in the water against all my better judgment and survival instincts and let uh, control my breathing. And then, oh, it's a little short. <laughs> uh, but despite my frozen limbs, I managed to get the rescue loop around my head and under one arm so that Terry and the others can drag me from the ice uh, like a like a beached whale, good old Dane and Terry, Flint's finest, helping me out. And then once you're up on uh, more solid ice, you'd be able to stand up and, and walk uh, or crawl to safety.